Hey guys, this is part two and I had to move somewhere else because lots of people kept coming in and out and I don't think you wanted to see that. So here I am at this FTX Canyon and I did an unboxing but the video wasn't that good. But there it is. Um. So here it is, a car, and I got this. Uh, it's a chassis protector to protect the underneath of the car, so it won't be scratched. And I have this Aromax car stand. And that fits on really nicely. And the cool thing is that put your shock shaft here when you're refilling them with oil and <laughs> here's a cool thing I have this sky RC thermometer so it measures the f temperature of an object so let's see how hot this is so you just hold it down the measure button and it's 20.2 degrees Celsius and 64.4 degree Fahrenheit and that's really cool so it's a Sky RC infrared thermometer and these are the batteries I'm using It's these ones, the peak power ones. I have two. And I contacted Model Sport because this is where I got this from, Model Sport. And I said, do these batteries fit this car? And they said, yes, they do. So then I said, all right then. So I got them and this is a problem, it doesn't really fit. Let's just take these clips off and I can show you what I mean. Our model sport said they fit but I'm not sure they do. These ones. See, I push them all the way there, but it's jammed on this power switch for the ESC. So when I move this somewhere else, let's move this there, I do it again. It still won't fit. Because of this brace there but I think you can move it up a bit because this brace has two screws underneath which are these ones I think and this came with the battery these foam things so I might put it there to stop the battery for moving around if I move this up there even more but this car is really smooth when I push it up and down it just feels really really smooth and I think that's all I have to say um, this car is a bit like the Armour Sentin I unboxed Uh, I'll show you. So here's the Armour Center and the trailer, RC four wheel drive trailer. Trax is the RX4 and the Trax Teton. They're all under, that's the house, the garage underneath there. 
and my Kyosho Automa RB6.6 ready set will be in there as well. So I think that's all I have to say. And, um, oh yeah. So, I think it, it looks like it's a bit like the armor Sentin because there's jumper pins on here. Like the armor Sentin. So I think it's in lipo mode now because there's a little cheat sheet here. If the camera can focus. There we go. There's a cheat sheet. So the reverse is off now. And the battery is in lipo mode now. And if you want to put the reverse on, you just move this jumper pin to there, onto that other piece of metal. So that's all I have to say, I think. Uh, there's a four midship transmission as well. I read it on the features, but you can read it as well because I think I showed I showed it on camera. I think, but the receiver is not waterproof. But the ESC is waterproof, and the motor is waterproof, and I think the server is waterproof as well. And it has a server saver on the server, but the receiver is not waterproof. So if you want it to run through water, you might need to grease this up. Okay. Okay, so that's all guys. Uh, hope you liked the video. And uh, the next RC unboxing might be the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. Uh, the green one, I think. That looks really cool. Uh, yeah. So I might do a running video of this at RC Bendit Raceway. Maybe. And I need, I need, I still need to do a running video of the Armour Sentin Mega. So once again, I'll see you later. I'll just show you this body shell one more time. But it's quite hard to get on, so you have to align the antenna with this hole. So it's quite hard to do that with one hand. There we go, it's back on, and you need one clip up here for that body post. And there's Velcro, which is really handy, because you don't have to use the body clips, only one. Okay, bye guys.